Shalom. Call Halayim La Yahawa Bashem, Yahweh Shah Bashem Rakakwadash. Double honors to elders and apostles, great millstone, who rule and teach well, and a sincere Shalom to the 144,000 and one third. Now, there's been a lot of talks lately about um, the small hats going to war against Lebanon with the U.S. giving them aid. So the Iron Dome, Iron Dome isn't overwhelmed. So let's go into this article. This is a relatively reliable source. I haven't <coughs> read any fake news from them to this day called, uh, I think it's pronounced Reuters. Israel's defense chief to discuss Gaza war, Lebanon hostilities on U.S. trip. June 23rd, Israeli defense minister Yoav whatever, headed to Washington on Sunday to discuss the next phase of the Gaza war. And escalating hostilities on the border with Lebanon were exchanges of fire with Hezbollah, Hezbollah, well, how, however you pronounce it, have stroked fears of wider conflict. So to get a good understanding of Hezbollah, they are backed by the Irani, Iranians. And I believe I've seen a post where they, they're talking about they got a hundred thousand men ready to go right now against these small hats so if they and there's talks that this war is going to ramp up because there's not confirmed but there's talks that the u.s is sending uh war more warships to the i think it's called um mesopotamian area We are prepared for any action that may be required in Gaza, Lebanon, in more areas and in more areas. Uh, Gallant said in a statement before setting off to Washington, where he said he would meet the counterpart Lloyd Austin and Secretary of State Antony Blinken. <coughs> Earlier in June, Hezbollah targeted Israeli towns and military sites with the largest volleys of rockets and drones in the hostility so far after an Israeli strike killed the most senior Hezbollah commander yet. So this, this thing is heating up. All right, let's go to the book of Mark. 13th chapter. And it's titled, thing, Things to Come. Verse 7. And when ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars, be ye not troubled. For such things must need be but the end shall not be yet. So a rumor of war is um, Le uh, Lebanon versus the Israelis. And guess what? Uh, Taiwan versus China. And, and Taiwan and China is a similar situation with uh, Ukraine and Russia, right? Taiwan was a part of China. Now they're trying to bring them back into China, like with Ukraine was a part of Russia, trying to bring them back. But the thing about the Taiwan versus China is that that's going to have a, a more global impact than any other war we've had on a on a global scale, right? A nation versus nation in the past uh, several years, probably even going back a whole decade because uh, Taiwan builds chips and all the experts have came out and, 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 and confirmed confirmations from all sides that if China invades Taiwan, it's going to have a massive implication on the, on a worldwide scale. The stock market, they say the stock market will essentially be cut in half. Or not the stock market. Apple and a lot of other big tech companies, a part of the stock mar market, will be cut in half as soon as China invades Taiwan. This is verse 8. For nation <clears throat> shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be earthquakes in diverse places, and there shall be famines and troubles. There, these are the beginning of sorrows. And we see uh, the race wars, uh, countries going to war. That's what the nation versus nation and kingdom against kingdom. And it's just going to keep uh, increasing. You have one, what was it? Uh, Venezuela and Guyana, I believe. And those are both Israelites, Israelite, predominantly Isra Israelite countries of the northern kingdom. They had little skirmishes. And um, apparently the U.S. Uh, calmed it down. But guess what? Things are going to keep spreading. It's not going to stop because this is all the plan of the Heavenly Father. And I seen this. I seen this map. I don't know. I think I think it was true. 
didn't seem like fake news. Been a lot of fake news lately. But this map I seen where uh, Nan Yahoo, he, he showed, a, a, I think it was called the Greater Israel, where he wanted the small hats essentially to take over Egypt and uh, Saudi Arabia and so on and so forth. And I seen the post where Saudi Arabia and Egypt are now all buddy buddy with the small hats, man. <laughs> Let's go to... um. Let's get this in Obadiah. Hold on. There we go. It's Obadiah 1. And um, in verse 7, All the men of thy confederacy have brought thee even to the border. The men that were at peace with thee have deceived thee and prevailed against thee. They that eat thy bread have laid a wound under thee. There is none understanding in him. So, What's going to happen is that these nations that seem like they're all buddy-buddy with Esau, even these newer treaties, these newer pacts, these newer, you know, deals, it's all not what it seems on the surface. Because when you dive deeper through the scriptures and you connect it to, to prophecy, we understand that these nations are going to uh, essentially backstab the Edomites, man, the small hats. Even even Russia, because those are Edomites. So Obadiah, the first chapter, applies to what Edom. It didn't say uh, the Western, <laughs> the Westernized Edomites, right? It said all Edom, all Edom is going to get that uh, get that judgment. Let's go to um, Revelations sixteen <clears throat> and sixteen, and he gathered them to get. Let's scroll up a little bit. Verse 13, and I saw three unclean spirits like frogs come out of the mouth of the dragon and out of the mouth of the beast and out of the mouth of the false prophet. And the three um, <clears throat> unclean spirits like frogs is going to uh, the U.S. government, uh, the U.K.'s financial system, specifically Great Britain. All right. And the Vatican. All right. Because the U.S. has the military might. The Vatican has the, the religion and uh, the U.K. has the finance. For they... Are the spirits of devils working miracles which go forth into the kings of the earth and the whole world to gather them to the bat to gather them to the battle of the great day of the God Almighty? And yeah, because <clears throat> the small hats, <clears throat> the small hats, they control all three, and they're gonna be the least of the flock that's gonna draw them out to where? The our land, our our heritage. All right. Verse um, <clears throat> 15, behold, I come as a thief. Blessed is he that watcheth and keepeth his garments, lest he walk naked and they see his shame. And he gathered them together into a place called the, in the Hebrew tongue Armageddon. It's the proper way it says Armageddon, which means what? A valley of troops. All right. Or I believe a mountain of troops. Lock it. Let me go to that concordance and get it right. I believe it's a mountain of troops. Hill. Hill, a hill of troops, all right? A hill of troops. That's what Amagadwan means. Not a valley, not a mountain. Well, it does say mountain right there. So, I believe I believe it is a mountain. A hill, a hill, if you want to get technical, a hill is just a lesser mountain, all right? Like the rulerships being mountains and hills. So the mountains will be a higher uh, authority over a hill. So the, the proper way to say it would be a mountain, all right? So a mountain of troops, I'm a god one, all right? And that's when all these the small hats are going to do something, and it's going to cause uh, Russia to unite with the eastern countries and some western westernized countries like Turkey. Turkey is a part of NATO, all right? And they're going to... Uh, they already are uh, saying they want to be a part of BRICS. So that's uh, that beast uh, being divided. All right. Even though NATO is predominantly Edomites, you got Turkey up in there. I think there is a uh, crypto small <laughs> so-called crypto small hats up in there. Right. Let's get this right here. And.
This is uh, Malachi, the first chapter, in verse 4. Actually, verse 3. And I hated Esau and laid his mountains and his heritage waste for the dragons of the wilderness. Whereas Edom saith, we are impoverished, but we will return and build the desolate places. Thus said Yahweh of hosts, they shall build and I will throw down. And they shall call them the border of wickedness and a people whom against and the people against whom Yahweh have indignation forever. So all this uh, treaties and what they're trying to do over there in West Asia and here in Babylon, the great and wherever there's Edomites is all going to be uh, a monkey wrench thrown in. Man, They're in a trick bag. <laughs> they got caught up in the, the bag of tricks of the Heavenly Father because that's that's what the Heavenly Father has done he, he made bounds that they shall not pass and these other nations too and these and the israelites 